have Scorpion's Fatality, and I'm just going to be sewing up a pair of, okay, I'm going to be sewing up a pair of wings onto a bodysuit that was a My Little Pony figure. I was trying to get her to stay. She did not. She wants to be under the bed. Um, anyhow, I wanted to tell a little story about why you should not use squeaker toys with a fursuit. Now, you might be wondering, Scorpion, why? Why are you telling us this? Well, child, viewer, person thing, let me tell you. So, back last year in April, when I was going to a convention called Tekoshikon, or as uh, it's usually called, Teko, uh, with the person who shall not be named, uh, because they are very, very not nice. Um, and I still fucking hate them. Oh, I said a swear word. Oh my gosh. Eh. Oh well. Um, so anyhow, in all seriousness, I was, I had a wicker beast head that I had made. He was a rushed head and he was destroyed, sadly. But I repurposed the foam, don't worry. I think he was actually put in a cream mellow, actually. Eh, whatever. Um, and so... I had one of those squeaky dog toys. And I had this bodysuit, actually. I know wickers don't have wings or anything, but hey, it was last minute, and I was, like, just finished doing repairs and shit on it. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll wear it to this convention. So I did, and I wore it on the bus, and oh my gosh, it was a nightmare. Um, but anyhow, so I get to the convention, and I... I don't know, what name should I give them? Jay. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Uh, and Jay was volunteering. Uh, I actually have an entire story on that, so... I don't know if I uploaded that, actually. I might have deleted it. I don't know. Um, but basically, um, we weren't gonna... We were kind of stuck outside for a bit because uh, Jay couldn't get in yet, and I was going as normal pass or as normal like I, I bought my shit. I, I bought my ticket. Uh, unlike them, who are a actual fl uh, freeloader who literally stole from me. Yeah, I'm still holding that grudge. Um. So anyhow, um. I, we were outside, I was derping around like an idiot in full suit, uh, minus my paws, because I didn't want to put them on yet, and I had them in this plastic bag, and I was carrying it because we took the bus, and with the dog squeaker, and most doggy toys don't have a doggy squeaker that you can pull out. Now it's this round thing, and there's this little nub in it, and you can pluck that out with your teeth. Uh, I don't recommend that. I was, they're about the size of a U.S. penny. They're quite tiny. Uh, and they have plastic crap inside of them that can pull out easily. So, I actually, I, I was messing around and I had done it for a while, and I believe my diaphragm, the reason why I didn't use diaphragm calls, because I think all of my diaphragm calls, I think, got moldy because I didn't take care of them properly after Anthrocon in 2017, something like it. So, I'm using this stupid squeaker, and, um, I was not paying attention, and whatever you do squeakers, you have them between your teeth, and then you go, and then you blow and you make kiss noises, and do whatever. Some people will actually put it into their mouth, like a diaphragm call, and push with their tongue, and then just blow. It's dumb. So, this thing is teeny tiny, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm perfect, and blah blah blah, I can do this. I swallowed it. Without any freaking thoughts. It shoots down my throat, I can feel it stuck in there for a second. I'm swallowing hard, I can feel it sliding down. Thankfully, it was too small to actually get stuck, though I have a naturally small throat, so that did not help me at all, and I thought I was going to die. So, I had a water bottle on me. I always take a water bottle with me, no matter what. So, I have this water bottle, and I just start chugging. I was vomited from it, so don't do that. 
but I started chugging like there was no tomorrow. And thankfully, thankfully all was good. I didn't get, I, I didn't die or anything. Am I dead? Did I die? Oh, am I the ghost of Scorpion? Probably. But in all seriousness, I swallowed a squeaker. It can be very fatal, and I was very lucky. And um, the staff, they didn't really care. Uh, even like the uh, medical staff or whatever, they were like, yeah, we don't give a crap. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna die. I just had a very, very nasty uh, panic attack, and I was scared to death, and I was like, oh no, I'm dying. <laughs> um, but it can be very fatal, so please be careful. Plus, it is plastic you are ingesting, uh, and it is not safe. So, yeah, please don't use squeakers. If you want to use a mouthpiece, uh, you can go into Walmart and go into their hunting section and they'll have these diaphragm calls or even in any hunting store Just please 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 don't use doggy squeakers because you will swallow it. It is inevitable So yeah, I just felt like telling my little horror story so yeah um, If you do end up swallowing it though uh, drink a lot of water and try to get it to come down because if if you just don't do anything you're really going to hurt because it hurts whenever you swallow it uh, so yeah <laughs> also try and get to a medical team immediately uh, just to be on the safe side please be safe people don't use squeakers I know it's tempting but don't uh, diaphragm calls are like 10 bucks for like three pieces. Be safe. Or use your mouth. You don't have to use a squeak or anything. You will spit a lot with them anyway. So yes. Bye!